of presidential portraits inside the state capitol is finally complete. Two and a half years after his inauguration, the gallery now includes a painting of President Donald Trump. CBS 4's Karen Morfitt live from the Capitol tonight where that portrait is now hanging up. And Karen, people from both parties actually worked together to make that happen. Karen, those behind this push say it wasn't about politics, it was about history. And they wanted to make sure that our state capitol had an accurate gallery of presidents that was up to date. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Woo! The Hall of Presidential Portraits at the Colorado State Capitol is complete. It's only fitting that a, a populist such as the president have the first crowdfunded campaign for his presidential portrait. Lawmakers and community members celebrated the unveiling of President Donald J. Trump's portrait on Thursday. The space for our 45th president was empty for some time and went unnoticed until pranksters put a portrait of Russian President Vladimir Putin in its place. Former Senate President Kevin Grantham says with history, not politics in mind, he took it upon himself to raise the funds. Within less than 36 hours, 216 contributions came in, totaling over the $10,000 necessary to put this portrait in its place. His mission, it turns out, was one with bipartisan support. Among those contributing to the portrait's completion, former Democratic State Representative Dan Pabone. Whether we disagree with them, whether we didn't like how history treated them, whether we didn't think that their own present time treated them well, doesn't mean that those portraits don't belong here. Now, you can find President Trump's portrait along with many, uh, all of the others on the third floor here at the state capitol. For now, we're live in Denver. Karen Morfitt covering Colorado First.